So what is the relevance of the timers? So one of the most common programming concept that you would come across is the timers. Timers helps in scheduling the events in future or periodically. Timers are extensively used in many domain of computer science, especially in networking. Networking just do not exist without timers, as simple as that. For example, if you have studied TCP protocol, then TCP uses various types of timers. For example, timer for scheduling an acknowledgement packet or timer to run its backoff algorithm. Then in real world applications, you must have got OTP on your mobile phone when you do certain transactions on the website. So that OTP is linked to a timeout time period. If you do not use that OTP, then it do not work. If you do not use the OTP within that time bound, then it expires, right? Similarly, if you log into certain website, then there is a timer running behind the scenes. And if you do not show any activity, activity then the session log out. Similarly, as I said that in networking, it is a very common scenario that the network applications send out periodic packets to some other remote machines in the network. Various networking protocols has the requirement to send out periodic packets for their implementation. So networking as a complete domain would have not existed had there been no timers. Then timers are also used for deferring or scheduling the computation. So in this section, we will going to study Linux inbuilt POSIX compliant timer APIs. And on the top of those APIs, we will going to build our own custom more controllable timers, right? If we are dealing with the timer based applications as a developer or programmer, you must have a steering wheel in your hand. For example, you must be able to start the timer, pause the timer, resume the timer, kill the timer or reschedule the timer at your will, right? So we will going to see how to develop all those APIs and concepts.